What's up everybody? I'm going to show you start to finish how to use uh, City Page Pro and get a website up and running pretty quickly. If you are totally new and you don't know how to set up a domain or set up hosting, WordPress, Cloudflare, etc. I just posted another video on that this morning in the group so go ahead and take a look at that. If you have any questions I'm happy to help. I've worked with pretty much all the hosting companies uh, so if you're not going to use HostGator I can help you troubleshoot any other service that you might be using but today we're going to just start with um, utilizing the plugin building a site start to finish we're going to start with uh, this website install hardwoodfloors.com um, i use expired domains a lot for a lot of my builds i also use a lot of dot infos because they're cheap a dollar 99 i have another video explaining how i find and where i find my expired domains and how i get them uh, this site here I just picked up this morning. It had some decent metrics. Uh, wood floors is a great category. It pays out pretty well for wood floor refinishing, repair, and installation. So uh, we've got a lot of buyers for those uh, calls on a nationwide basis. So first things first is we're going to add the plugin. So upload plugin, and we're going to put our City Page Pro in there. Install now, and. Once that installs, we're going to activate the plugin. Once the plugin activates, it's going to show up on this side menu here. Give it another second. There it is. All right, so now we're going to go to City Page Pro Settings and we're going to pop in our API key or our, our license key. All right. Now I'm also going to dictate here. Um, how many listings I want to show per page. So I have it set as 10. Sometimes I like to go a little heavier with it. Totally up to you uh, and how you want it. I think the more listings you put on the page, the more unique the pages are going to be in between each other. But uh, I have some set at 10 and they're doing just as fine as ones I have set for like 50. So I'm going to go with 20. I'm going to hit update. Okay. Now it's really important. After this step, we have to go to settings and we go to permalinks. This is going to be a thing that's going to catch a lot of people and this, the, the, the plugin's not going to work. You're going to message me and I'm going to ask if you did this step. No matter where it is, you know, where it's already custom structure, post name, change it to something else. Click save changes. You have to do it exactly like this. Then post name, save changes. Okay, so now that that's done, we've got one more step to do. And we've got to go to widgets. All right. And we have to add in the local page create uh, category widget. All right. So well, that, we're going to drag it over here, I guess. So we'll put it in the footer. Oh, let me see. Add widget. All right. So the widget's added. Keep in mind, I'm using the basic um wordpress template right now if i was to change my template the widget uh, the available widgets and the where the widget can go are it's going to be different but i'm just using the basic template right now or theme so we'll change up the theme you can use premium themes you can use the there's a lot of good themes for free within but we'll just we'll just stick with the basic one for now and we'll, we'll change it up okay so now that's all set the site should be working it comes with a default category as dentist but you're obviously going to change that so let's visit the site, make sure everything's working, and we should see right here under default title dentist, and let's just make sure it clicks through all the way. So we have here the state page, city page, or state page, now we're clicking on a city page, and we're good to go. Okay, cool. So now let's go back to the site. Now let's get into the actual app. So let's first go to our category and let's go ahead and change this. So we're going to edit this. You can delete it and add a new one. Does it matter? This category is going to be called, it doesn't matter what you call the category. This is totally up to you. So I'm going to call this uh, wood floor companies. Wood floor companies, that's fine. And then for the business listing, you're going to have to play with this because this is going to query our server, our uh, the City Page Pro server that has this huge database, 28 million business listings that uh, you're going to qu query from. So you've got to kind of play around 
to get the listings to show to the, the appropriate ones. But I'm going to start off with flooring. Okay, so I've done this before. Flooring, wood floors, floors. Okay, category image. Let me grab, I'm going to pause the video real quick and grab an image and then we're going to put that here. So, okay, I found an image. So let's go ahead and put it in. So we're going to upload a file. And I just picked this contractor icon. You, I was looking around for like a flooring one. I couldn't find anything really quick, but you can look around, have something more, you know, uh, and if it stretches out a little, you might want to choose a different one. But for today's uh, demonstration sake, we're just going to stick with this. So we're going to update this. And then before we get too far, we're going to make sure that um, we're getting listings. So let's go ahead. Let's visit the site. And let's just go through and make sure we are getting enough listings. Um, and we'll just check. Chicago real quick and here we go so looks like we're getting in some kitchen bath remodeling professional board up floor sanding so it's pulling in a bunch of remodeling companies because they must do flooring so uh, we're looking good here so that's looking good and again this template um, which you know it's the basic out of the box wordpress or theme i'm sorry I, I would definitely play around with the theme there's some good themes that really work well work well like directory themes that you know shows well but this actually uh looks really nice in the phone the way this this lays out but let's go ahead and click the uh, details page and everything's looking good there okay awesome so let's go back here and let's change some things around here so um let's start with category template page and this, let me show you what the category template is going to be. We're going to go back. So this is your category page, USA Wood Flooring. Wood Flooring Companies is the category. So if you want to change anything, the meta titles, all this, I don't mess with this. This is not going to get you much, you know, SEO, uh, you know, actual searches. This is more for the, the index, the spiders to follow and find all of your links. But if you wanted to put any design elements around here, this is where you would do it. Um, we've got the meta description here. So find local category name services, find local category name services. All that looks good to me. Um, state page, same, same basic deal. Uh, so state name, category, so Illinois, wood floor companies, local directory. So wood floor company, look at, you know, uh, you can change that around if you want. I don't pay too much attention to this. Uh, everything else looks good here. Now your city page template. This is where you can add in a lot of stuff. Uh, let me show you, 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 what I like to do is if you're someone who uses like Serp Farm or Serp Shaker, which I was, you know, I'm huge, still am a big user of, um, I like to add some of the elements of those pages onto that. So let me show you another site that I did. Uh, okay. So you see here, I added this whole I had a feature listing, which is HTML or whatever, WordPress uh, text. And then I added all this stuff in here, okay, um, using the variables, which I'll show you, and then the listings, okay? So that way, when my users hit, they, they get this whole page. It's all, you know, my phone number, my phone number, my phone number, my phone number. So the whole top of the page is all me. So I, I like setting up the sites like that, but uh, that's totally up to you and how you want to set them. Um, another strategy is to just build them as they are and let them get traffic. Once they get traffic, then you could do like a cloak and redirect or there's, there's lots of options. So let's go back here to our city page. Let's edit the template. Every category has its own city page. So let's make sure everything's looking good here. Okay, so we've got to change this dentist stuff. But now everyone that when you upload your plugin, it's going to have all this dentist stuff in it. So you're going to have to change it. Uh, so we're going to do, and this meta title for your city page is the most important SEO element without a doubt. So you choosing these keywords, it's very important. And I like to do it like this. Uh, some variation of this city state shorts these are your your short codes uh first keyword and then like a dash or pay, you know page break and then zip code don't sleep on zip codes if you want to get a lot of traffic have your zip codes in your title title 
meta titles with one of your top keywords. So I'm going to do uh, wood floor companies, and then I'm going to do um, flooring install repair and refinishing. Refinishing. Okay, and for the sake of I'm just going to use this for this, but you, you know, if you want to get better SEO, use your keywords, your meta description. All right. So we're going to update that. Okay. Also now we're going to go to our business details page. You're going to get a lot of traffic uh, from people searching for these different businesses. Um, you know, this FFF got carried in and I'm going to, on the next update, we're going to get rid of this. So I like to get rid of that. So you're going to have business name in business city comma business state short business zip uh, the business map anything else you want to put here like if you see let's go back to this one if you look on the bottom let's see if I did it here um, look I added all these different keywords so fire damage repair in Addison six or so just to give this a little more meat to it and this site does really well um, you know in terms of indexing let's see I'm jumping around here, but deal with it. All right. You know, it's funny. 276 results. I searched yesterday. It was like 8,000, but regardless, it's, uh, so see this, these are business names, Lindrums, Carlisle. Oh, no, actually, no, these are business names, Fire, X-Men, Newport. But if I look at, uh, let's just take that. I don't know if it places or not. Didn't check. Uh, there it is. Number one. And it's, that's the actual business listing. So, Again, using like a cloak and redirect script where there's tons of them. Uh, there's there's tons of options that we can do in terms of how to monetize. This is you got to get the traffic first, and then you can monetize it. And this is a great way to do it. So back to this. All right, um, all this looks good. You know, I'd probably add a bunch of keywords down here uh, in terms of um, you know like business, city, wood floor refinishing, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But let's go ahead and finish this um, business zip. And then I'm just going to do um, wood floor contractors. All right. And then. All right. Update. All right. So that's pretty much it. Now, what you do in terms of changing the theme and all that and adding content to the to to the main part, like well, what I do on the American this one, American Service Restoration, and a lot of them. This is just a plugin. There's a ton of them. I, I'm using WP Automatic, and it's just pulling in relevant blog posts just so it populates. So if someone comes to the website, they see that it's an actual website. There's more to it. You could also just make this page your home page um, and just have that and just set it up as a directory and add some text or whatever. I mean, you, it's totally up to you what you want to do. Um, so that's that's it. We go back to this. We make sure all of this is clicking through, and we look at our meta titles. Find local wood floor company services. I mean, I might go around and change that, but again, I, I'm telling you, it really doesn't matter. Uh, no one's really going to scrutinize your meta title on your category, but you can go and change that. Um, let's look at the state level. Make sure that looks good. Let's see, Wood Floor Company Services in Illinois. Yeah, Wood Floor Company Services in Illinois. I, I would need to change that, but easy fix. Um, and then let's go ahead and click on the city page again. Make sure that. So we've got LSEP Wood Floor Company 60803 Flooring Install Repair and Refinish. And then we're going to make sure this looks good. Our details page. So we've got Elite Crate Systems an Elsa a wood floor contractor. So you can always mess around with all this stuff, but we're looking good. The next thing I'm going to do, so we're right in around 14, 15 minutes, and that's really what it takes to build these sites. I mean, obviously, I would probably uh, definitely would choose a different uh, theme, and I would add something for the home page. I'd either make that uh, category page my home page, or I'd add the, an auto blog on there just to populate something on the home page. Um, I'd also add Stat Counter or Google Analytics to it. Um, but that's really pretty much it, it. It's all it is. So the next step is indexing. I'm going to uh, finish this video now. Um, I'll just show you what time and date it is. Let's see what time and date. 
So we're looking at 8 a.m. August 6th, and let's 